Okay, so we had a word problem here for the question of the day that's known as a successive percent problem. Let's check it out. A department store is having a 25% off sale on all their shoes. So we know that there's going to be 25% off. Now, whenever you have a percent problem, you should ask yourself 25% off of what? Um, and so they don't specify, so we're just going to go ahead and assume that that's 25% off of the original price. Okay, so I'm just taking notes to myself here. 25% uh, off sale on all their shoes, so 25% off of the original. And then Belinda has a coupon that allows her to take 30% off of the sale price. Always pay attention to what's after the of there. 25, I'm sorry, 30% off of the sale price. This is why this is called a successive percent problem, because we're going to have to deal with two different percents in this problem, one after the other. Now, the pair of shoes Belinda would like to purchase were originally priced at 42. Whoa. So we have this $42 original price. Okay, and then not counting tax, how much will the shoes cost after the discounts? So here we have the starting price. The original price is where we're going to start, and we're going to need to take off two discounts. Now the question is, where do we start first? Well, since I'm looking at the original price, I better take the discount that comes off the original, that first 25%. So first we got to figure it out. We got to figure out what 25% of the original is. Now the really nice thing is on the GED you would have your TI30 uh, excess uh, calculator available to you, so you would be able to do that on there. And you can in fact uh, type this entire problem in there if you just remember what the word of means. Do you remember what the word of means? Of means multiply. Of means multiply. So I'm just going to come in here, I'm going to replace the word of with multiply. Okay, so 25% of 42 is the same as 25% times 42. And a lot of you guys go, oh, Kate, I know what to do with this 25%. I'm going to turn it into the decimal, 0.25. You can turn it into the decimal, you'll get the exact same answer, but I'm just going to use the calculator function here and type this in. You can literally type 25. There's a percent button in your TI. Uh, 30XS calculator. So type that in and then times 42. And if you do, you are going to get 1050. 1050. Now, the trick though to remember is that this is your discount. 1050 is what you're taking off of the sale price, or I'm sorry, off of the original price. So here's my original price, $42. I need to take 1050 off. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to subtract. So let me take that $42 and take off the 1050. Subtract that out. So let's see, what would that be? $32 minus 50 cents. Uh, we're looking now at 31.50. Now, what is this 31.50? This is the sale price. If you had the original, you take off a discount, you're at sale price time. So there's my sale price. Now, so I did the first discount, but this woman is getting two discounts. There was the first sale, and then there was this coupon that she had. She has a coupon for 30% off of the sale price. So make sure the 30% you figure is from the sale price. So what we need here is 30% of the sale price. Now again, of means multiply, and we're just going to multiply 30% times 31.50. And like I said in your TI, uh, 30XS calculator, you can just type in 30 and the percent button. But I looked and looked online and I could not find a free version of this thing. So I'm going to use my crappy calculator over here. <laughs> Don't judge me all. Um, does mine have a percent button? It does. So you can see just how we would do this. So 30% Oh, no, I lied. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't work like yours does. So I'm going to have to convert mine into a decimal because I don't have a percent button. So I know to convert a percent into a decimal, I have to move the decimal back once, twice, uh, two places back. And so that's 0 0.3, 0 0.3 times 3150. And a lot of people say, isn't it 0.30? Yeah, same difference. I don't care about trailing zeros. They don't matter. 
So 0 0.3, 0 0.30, you're going to get the same answer. 0 0.3 times 3150. And let's see what we get. 945. Now, again, 945 is the discount because we're taking a 30% discount. And it's that discount is being taken off of the sale price. So again, I'm going to have to start with the sale price and take off a discount. And how do we take off a discount? Again, we're going to subtract. So 31, whoa, 50 minus 945. Let's see, 31 minus 9 would be 22. And 40, 50 minus 45 would be 05. Ah, and so my final price after both the discounts. First I figured out the discount, then I took it off. Figured out the next discount, took it off. And I see that my final cost for these shoes is 22 bucks.